all want to get in shape for spring, so this morning we are starting a new series called Firm It Up. We're going to show you how to tone up your trouble spots, and we'll begin this Monday with arms, which are the it body part of this season, courtesy of First Lady Michelle Obama. We're joined by style expert Katrina Zish. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, Maggie. She shows them off because she has great arms. She has amazing arms. I think she's shown that women definitely have the right to bear arms, even <laughs> under scrutiny at very important uh, presidential events. She does it anyway. She looks fabulous, yeah. and you're right, arms are key. Yeah, even in her official portrait, she's wearing that seamless mm -hmm. number. And what, what's good about her arms is that they're not too muscular, they're not too thin, they're just right. That's what I like about them. They have that amazing definition, but it, she doesn't look like a bodybuilder, exactly. but she also doesn't look too waif-like. Uh, strong arms really kind of beget a strong woman. What's her secret to having those arms? She works really hard. She said, this is work. She works out several days a week with a personal trainer for 90 minutes. She does calisthenics. She jumps rope because the cardio is very important. And she does a series of exercises with weights. Madonna's arms have kind of gone from super buff to now I think sort of a Michelle Obama thing not not too yes. big but toned that's be when we first met Madonna she or she when she first started getting really buff she was working out like crazy really doing lots of bodybuilding then she kind of segued into yoga and now she works with her amazing trainer Tracy Anderson oh, we've had her on she's great. yes she's incredible and she doesn't believe in lifting heavy weights. no she swears by three pound weights to keep women's arms looking toned but not overly built and of course Madonna also does the cardio aspect which is important biking and Pilates to keep that long lean look Pilates. it's all about Pilates it's all about days. Pilates mm -hmm. is that what Kate Walsh does she has some fierce arms I love Kate Walsh because she her arms are very feminine she doesn't have they're not so cut that yeah. you look at them but then when you look at her there she just has this beautiful very feminine ladylike look yeah. and as you said Pilates she swears by so that seems to be the I, I, yeah the word is is p pilates all right yeah. well we, we decided <laughs> stay with us because we're going to do a little fashion show but we decided yes. to, to ask a trainer nikki kimbrough went out in search of the best ways to tone up your arms and what she found may just knock you off your feet Feel the tricep. For your arms, boxing gets the shoulders toned. Works those triceps when you do that cross punch motion. Also gets the biceps and also works the upper back. If you just punch on this direction. Former middleweight kickboxing champion Adelino da Costa says 80% of his clients at New York's Punch Fitness Center are women looking to tone and strengthen their muscles. Within, I would say, a couple months, I started seeing definition, and I would say over the past six months, I've just gotten so much more defined and lean. Within a couple of weeks, I could see the change within my and we know change can be good, so Nikki signed up to take a few tips from the ring to firm up her arms at home. For the home workout, Adelino put Nikki to work with four exercises to do at least three times a week. Jumping rope, push-ups, all the way down to the floor, dips, I got it, and shadow boxing. Everything is combined. The goal, to eventually do each one for two minutes. <laughs> I'll burn it. But once the gloves were off, Nikki found a more unconventional way to strengthen her upper body and arms. It's called Forza, and it's based on ancient Japanese sword fighting techniques. Forza means strength in Italian. Strength. Strength, strength in, in Italian. Italian. The aerobic workout burns 500 calories a class by using wooden swords in controlled repetitive moves. It also builds muscle mass, since it's all about movement with the arms. And if you don't have a sword, you can use a stick or even a towel. If you were to hold on to a towel like this, and I want you to try it, you would do kind of the same movement. And there's no doubt those towels will sure come in handy once it's time to clean up the sweat. Yes, it will not come easy, but once you accomplish that, you have buff arms, you'll want the right look to show them off. Style expert Katrina Zisch is back with some fashion trends to do just that. Okay, three beautiful ladies, three different looks. Let's yes. start with Kara in the black. Kara, first we have this beautiful office look. This is something that you can wear to the office that's appropriate. What I like about this is it has the idea of a jacket, but the sleeves are different. They're short enough to show off those great toned arms, and they're transparent. And then we just stuck with something simple and black, which is appropriate for the office. And we kind of punched it up with some red shoes. Those but are really, the sleeve length and detail is, of course, what you want to draw attention to those great arms. Really and nice. then you can also take the jacket off, which is fantastic, because then you can go straight from work out ah. afterwards, and you still have that great shift dress look, and of course you can see exactly how and why this shows off 
Kara's arms as well as her upper body because women with great arms tend to have great shoulders yeah. in general and so this is a great look. I'm sure Kara worked hard for that so yes. <laughs> show them off. Beautiful. Yes. Let me see who makes this. It's, this is a beautiful I was going to say this is Nanette, Nanette Lepore. Oh, I love yes. Nanette Lepore. Thank yes. you, Kara. All right, Susan is sporting a beautiful orange top. What's this look? This is by Cynthia Steffi and it's the halter top for the weekend casual look. The halter top is the ultimate upper body show-off piece. Of course, it shows the shoulders and the arms. We paired it with some tie waist pants to really kind of give that beautiful silhouette. But the bright color, the earrings, and that halter detail draws the attention to that wow body part. And as you can see, Susan looks fantastic. Susan says she's been working out hard for about three months, and already you have those arms. It's a pretty good time. Not, not a bad turnaround. Yeah. Can you turn around? I want, I want to see the back. Speaking of turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, look Gorgeous. at that. And that halter top shows off all of that great stuff, the back muscles as well. And uh, doesn't get better than this. I know. Nice, Susan. Thank you. Thanks, Jen, Susan. Jen, I love this dress. This is our cocktail evening look on Jen, love it. who does lots of yoga. And the asymmetrical neckline is not only a big trend this season, but it's really a soft, beautiful way to show off a woman's arms. You have that feminine detail on the sleeve, but it really shows off that beautiful structure of the arm. Again, earrings and bangles draw attention exactly where you want the mm. eye to go. Top it up with some sexy shoes, you're good to go. 